So we're going to have a look this week at the features of the inner city and of the suburbs. Um, they are should be fairly straightforward, and hopefully you can have got most of this from the kind of lesson um, or the kind of section parts you had a look at. But just in case you didn't, we're just going to go over it. So this is a very typical inner city uh, feature. Um, these kind of like oh, that's like a horrible pen. Let's make it a bit smaller. These f blocks of houses here are called tenements. So you can see the kind of doorways down here, and then the kind of break up like that would be one flat, two flats. And they'd all be like separate uh, apartment blocks or flat blocks in there. And then you can see that that repeats down here. And as it goes down. So even in that one block, uh, you can see those like what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Apart, different apartments in there. Uh, now they'd have like a bed, um, a living room, kitchen, maybe two bedrooms, maybe three bedrooms, depending on how they're designed. So you in that, uh, where's my quick math? So if we're roughly talking about if a family is in there, maybe has two kids, so it's four people for each one, you're talking 20, no you're not, you're talking 32. So like 32 people in this block, and then another 32 here and all the way down and these are so cheap to build because all they do is like to put a big block in like that and then divide it up inside and that's why they're really here because we're built by a lot of the manufacturers a lot of the factories that were in inner, inner city and they're really cheap to build historically um, and this is zoomed out a bit so this is in the Glasgow Gorbals and you can see them here that this is just rows upon rows of these houses for people to work in. They go to work, then in the morning, they just simply walk down the street and into the big factory buildings here. I'm just waiting on my tablet catching up on it. So they walk down the street into these big factory buildings here. So it's really close to their workplaces. Um, that's some more factories there, that's more there. Uh, so that people could go to work. Now they weren't the most pleasant of places uh, that, you know, this is kind of roughly what they looked like back in the kind of 50s, 60s and 70s, that aside from it being not a black and white photo, they were all very cramped, very condensed. Um, you know, this is their washing area. This is where they'd have to do their washing. Um, sometimes you'd have washing lines strung across. Um, so you'd hang your washing up there, put a wee t-shirt and some trousers um, and they're right next to factories and factories are still kind of belching out a lot of like kind of pollution and smoke so you can imagine then that they weren't the nicest of places to really kind of live in so they had a lot of kind of problems and then a lot of these kind of kids just used to get playing around in factories and around these kind of yard areas so then had a lot of, kind of injuries maybe had a lot of health problems as well so inner city really was that kind of like design for fa people to work in factories and if we jump across to our map we're going to have a look at an example of that so when we're trying to find these inner city and um, we're going to use, keep using Glasgow example just now I'm just waiting on that zooming in drawing to I'll kind of come back to that in a minute. So this, as we've kind of looked at before, is our inner city. Uh, that, like, let's see, let me get everything just there. This, so our CBD is this area here, um, where, I'm just going to show up, catching up, so I can actually do tone this. So what we've really got then for inner city to try and do it is this kind of gridiron street pattern um, that is still kind of straight lines up and down that we have no green, sp very few green spaces on here. Um, green spaces on the map wouldn't necessarily be green, but they'd be bigger white areas, um, like or actual kind of green, like here, down here, that would be a green space. So we don't have any kind of green spaces on this part of our map. So this is our 
using as an example of our inner city here. Um, they've got bigger buildings, which might have been factories before. They've got train lines, which would be used for kind of transporting people in and out in terms of goods in and out. And it's getting slightly more complicated now because a lot of these areas, as we're going to look at in a further section, are actually starting to get redeveloped. So it is maybe a wee bit harder to look at. But even this, like Govan Hill area, you can see these like really straight lines up and down and crisscrossing because that was literally the cheapest way for them to build anything. So that's how you identify it in the map. Literally it's going to be beside the CBDs up here and it's beside that so it makes it the inner city. And then you've got this grid down street pattern and very few green spaces. The contrast to that, to these like a bit grim, um, more dank places, although not always, they are getting better, but we'll look at that next um, next week, is these much nicer built suburbs. So this is a what's called a detached house. Um, you also get semi-detached where if you had like just one extra house built on this wall here, just really draw a quick house, then that would be called a semi-detached house if there was another house here. Um, and these are very typical of the suburbs. They've got a front garden, they've definitely got a back garden, they've got a garage. They're huge, like, you know, instead of having like, you know, a family of four squeezed into quite a small space and built on top of each other, you know, think of all the space you'd have in this property here. And these are built in big developments where they can then go around. So this is actually, I'm pretty sure this might be a semi-detached. This one's a semi-detached because you can see the two doors. So that's one and two. But even with them, they're much nicer to live in because you've got a lot more space. You're not so constricted in. And then you get them put in these areas that have big curvy roads that have like speed bumps or traffic control. And the one thing I was trying to put out in the lesson, where it actually is, it, is they're part of these. You see these all over the place. And this is like a dead end sign. Like there's no way through. So the only reason cars would be going down like this street is if they live down there or they're going to visit someone down there, there's no through traffic. So you can go out and play in the street. Kick a ball about and you don't really have to move for cars too much. Uh, it's also, so it's a very safe place for families and for like kind of younger children to be. It's why they tend to be quite popular. They also tend to be more expensive. The reason they can build out here is because the land is a lot cheaper as well. So where there is with our inner city, our CBDs get the most expensive land. I'm just waiting on this catching up. Our CBD, our city centres get the most expensive land. The inner city is still quite expensive as well. That's why most of it's used up. It's why they make really cheap housing um, or really densely packed housing. If we go further out, now I'm just trying to get the area further out, and we are going quite far out, um, to places like Bears Den, and then we zoom in and kind of look at their houses. So they've then got, um, just waiting on this catching up. So you can then see there's a lot curvier roads. Uh, go a bit high. I want that one. So go away. So what you've got is a much curvier roads that go around. You've got some green spaces, some parks. Um, we can find some parks inside the housing. Uh, you've got a school that tends to be in the middle of it because of the and then those are like primary schools. And then they'll feed into the academy. So this is Bears Den Academy. And then even get a really nice dry ski slope behind it. So you can go practice your skiing even in the summer. Um, they've got like a lock out here. They can go walk around. Now this is quite a densely packed suburb as well. But even then you can and you can start to see that if you're trying to find it on a map. That this, there's no city out here. 
so there's nothing here and you can tell it's then starting to get towards the edge of the city um, and that's kind of the main features some golf courses might be around so like leisure activities uh, and even you can see on the map that um, let's shade in one of the gardens so this is someone's back garden and you can see that this is all their back gardens here um, So you can see that this is like the entire property of that house. So it's, they are quite big as well because they've got that space that they can sp expand out, create big houses and have big gardens that support that. And then you've got these cul-de-sacs, these roads that just don't go anywhere. So the only reason you'd be up there is just to visit someone or to kind of like get to your house. So like cul-de-sac, literally just a dead end street in there. And that is our inner city and CBD. It's a quick fly through.